what's up ladies and gentlemen it's your boy triple back with another video now i wanted to show you guys uh something the other day i posted uh a link on clash of kings professional players on facebook about the building speed i had 358 building speed and i wanted to show you guys how to obtain that relatively easy now what i did was i made a video and now what it does what the video does is it basically shows you how i obtained it and it also shows you the skills of this new hero right here. Um, I see they've got a new layout on this. This is kind of nice. Uh, it's a little bit different than what it was before. So this is the new hero. I wanted to show you guys a thing or two about this guy. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go on ahead and carry on into the video. And I'll run a little bit of a talk through it. This right here is the video. What I did was I showed you guys exactly how I set up my skills. Now I started off my skills in support and now I'm going into development. What I plan to build is prestige five to six, prestige phase five to six of P6 barracks on the archer side. Now on here, it doesn't really matter what your gather speed is. All that stuff doesn't matter. What you're trying to get is the building speed. None of that other stuff really mattered to me. Um, I even think that I left some of my skills points uh, unused for this video after I had set them. Now, uh, throughout this whole video right here, I was really trying to feel out uh, how I could do this a little bit, a little bit better, make it make it look a little bit better for you guys. Actually, yeah, I did I did end up using all my skill points. Anyways, um, but yeah, here I am switching my equipment and stuff. I know uh, later on down the road, Dastrus and Silverwolf brought to my attention that we could use the level 20 pants, and they got a double building speed. Now, I didn't use those pants. I think that those pants are a great addition. They would be a great choice. So if you do use those pants, you will probably be a lot easier to achieve this goal, and it will be a little bit easier, a little bit cheaper for me, for you. I went with the double double use purpose they they most of my stuff has a double purpose use it uh, helps with uh, science and research and it helps with building speed so i wanted to go for the double purpose that way i didn't have a ton of equipment laying around which i've got already got a ton of equipment now right here i'm putting my builder um bernard yeah bernard into building speed now as you see I'm going to all of these skill points because whenever you get down to this little uh, whip and the hammer, that will give you a little bit of an extra building time increase. So keep that in mind. Um, for those of you that don't have him maxed out, I would just go straight down the development tree and, and then keep in mind about the uh, other trees that you have a chance to advancing you know so yeah i mean it's it, it's not not too bad it's here i am showing you guys the exact skills and stuff uh helps out a lot i'm changing out all my equipment now now this is where it's really delicate because if you garrison your heroes incorrectly you could screw up your building time by a lot so i went through and made sure that i got my building times correct and everything <laughs> now if you see right here you, you see that I've got a ton of shoes and stuff like that this is basically going to show you guys that uh, I use all kinds of equipment all kinds of levels of equipment just to complement a little bit faster building speed a little bit faster science and research speed if you guys want me to make a science and research speed or a troop training speed video because I can reach almost 500% troop training speed and I can reach uh, a pretty high science uh, research speed so if you guys want me to make another video like two different videos around this then just let me know in the comments section and I'll make a video showing you guys what all equipment I use, what, you know, sciences, stuff like that, that I have. Now I'm on off to the pants. 
Um, the building speed on these net leggings is only 13.10%, but they've also got a march increase. So it, it also helps for me to use the net leggings on Bartholdi, my other building hero. It also helps for me to use them on that. That way I have like a dual purpose. I have a march speed I use on Selma on my governor and then I have or a march march boost which gives me 11,000 or 1100 more troops to march and it also helps me out with building speed so I was kind of happy about that now you guys will notice that some of my equipment is orange some of its golden I basically just went with whatever I could make at the time. All this equipment was made in about two days. I didn't didn't really focus too much on uh, really on on going gold. I can go gold later on, but for me right now, getting up to like 350 percent uh, building speed was more important to me than going crazy about the uh, about the quality of the equipment. Orange or better is is the best. I won't never forge anything less than orange. As you see, I've got some green in here, but the fact is that I can't disassemble none of that. If I can disassemble it, I'll disassemble it as soon as I can. Um, you'll see that uh, right now I'm about to hook up my building officers right here. Building speed 124.6. I'm going to go around to my... Uh, Dragon Ward, set that up, I was a little confused here, <laughs> I keep thinking that it's further down, so I set that up, then I go over to my Dragon, I set him up, now I've got my, my level 25 Dragon, my Black Dragon, maxed out for building speed, science and research speed, and uh, troop training speed. This is this is my only development dragon. I'm glad that I got him maxed out. He helps out a ton. So then I, I go into the, the wonder, do that. Uh, the dragon glass really doesn't help. There's no buffs for that. And then down here, you'll see that I hit uh, 358. Boom. Now I'm going to start my barracks. I've got negative 14 or negative 13 wood consumption, mithril uh, negative consumption, stuff like that. It helps out a lot whenever you're building. Like I only really build on lucky day. So this right here, the only reason that I'm building is partially for this video, but also because I had just gotten this hero maxed out. If you look right here, right there, there's all the, uh, all the stuff I'm showing you that I can max it out. Or that I can reduce the uh, the consumption and then right here I'm showing you how much resources I would be spending if I did not reduce the consumption my building time is also short as hell if you look right here building time is like 44 days yeah 44 days seven hours I think that prestige five or phase five through six is typically um 67 days or something like that for an average building speed so this is an awesome building speed it cut off like 27 days or 25 days or something like that off of my normal time that's a lot of speed ups that i can use for something else that i can use to to raise up my other barracks so right there you got it 44 days, 4 hours, and 20, 20 minutes. I'm going to bust that out. If you want to if you want to uh, make it even faster, what you can do is mail your whole alliance right before you start to build. Let them know, hey, hit that help button, and it'll help out a lot. So I showed you guys you know, how to reduce that. No cost on that. There's the next phase. 57 days is going to be my next time. 57 days, 16 hours. That's going to be my next time. Now, I want to thank you guys all for giving me support. 
I'm going to tag this in the uh, Prestige Prestige 5 group and also in the uh, Facebook Professional Club Players Clash of Kings Professional Players group so that you guys all see this. Now I want you to see something else. This is my player of the week. JM is my player of the week and he's he's an awesome guy. Uh, he he sent me some things, you know, let me know uh, what what kind of player he is. He says, good morning, bro. I'd like to show you some screenshots about victories and, and event stats. Uh, I've never spent money in the game, but almost 20 hours online is not so not easy. He spends a lot of time online, so uh, which is which is a, a an alternative to spending a lot of money also. So if you look here, he's always ranked in these events. Killing monsters and gather events when my castle 28-29. I won like three more, but cannot find the screenshots. There he is. And then, you know, I know he's a low-level castle, but at the same time, it, we've all started somewhere. You know, he was king with castle eight, castle 28, not too long ago. Uh, but we had kingdom had some castles P5 in the kingdom too. They respected him enough to give him a uh, king buff with a level 28 so that shows a lot you know uh especially right now everybody's a p5 or a p6 you'll never you'll you won't see a p6 or a p5 that is king right now so just think about that you know they they respected him enough to give him this buff when military rank active i beat some big guys from kingdom 231 to this is my castle level 29 so it looks like uh this is Falcon, Falcon, K. Oh, KOW 228. <laughs> those are those are some of my people right there. Yep. Not sure sure when old system battle old system battlefield. So I clear. These are some of his stats. If you guys want to see his stats right here. I don't read uh, Portuguese. I think that's Portuguese. I can't read Portuguese, but it, it looks like he's got some pretty decent stats. He's got a uh, archer at 235, and that's pretty high for a level 28. P6, attack team. He's got a P2 now. The 48 million power, 100%, not money. This is my first castle, my first kingdom from castle one and i didn't know about this kind of game so i was learning every day with almost 20 hours online so he's he's learned a lot you know and i i appreciate his 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 work everything that he's done he said that he's he's appreciated my videos which i'm i'm glad that somebody appreciates my videos you know i, I appreciate i love to see it whenever people advance their castles and then they mail me and they're like hey you know i've done this partially because of you you know I, I never I never like to take credit for it but I think I like to I like to know that uh, I help people out so thank you guys thank you JM man for all your support thank you for uh, for all that you do I really appreciate seeing players like this they help the game out move forward you know they don't let too much discourage them they always they are always positive I love players like this that are heavy grinders you know um, play the game like it's supposed to be played i really appreciate these kind of people so i hope you see yourself in this video jm uh shout out to you man your player of the week don't forget to like and subscribe this video make sure you hit the ding dong to get uh notifications on every video that i post uh you can see me on uh youtube troublemaker ganging gaming twitter trouble with two o's two b's uh line id j backs donate if you want to donate and send me some money to help out the channel it's not going to go to me i'm not going to pay any bills with it i'm not going to buy any packs with it uh it's it's all going to go into a fund to help better my equipment so if you want to donate via paypal uh contact me online and i can give you the information or you can hit the link on the uh youtube channel troublemaker gaming so thank you guys so much peace Check. Thank you.